Hiya, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I'm filming a new video down in Somerset today for Hunter Gatherer Sleeping, so watch out for that one. But I've literally, I've just been driving along and I've seen this amazing farm shop, Kimber's. So I'm gonna pop in and see if I can get them to talk to me. I'm Ruth Kimber. My husband and I, we started our business when we got married 50 years ago. But we were only part of the story because we've been farming the same land for 350 years and we're basically dairy and stock farmers. The milk is raw, exceptionally good for you, and we offer it in glass, locally, or plastic, simply because we have people that want to buy our milk from all over the country. It even goes into Scotland. So our internet business has really given people the opportunity to buy high quality milk and some of our local cheddars all these beautiful things from the West Country. So in front of us here is a selection of some of our home produced meat. And we have our own beef, our own veal, pork, lamb, mutton, and at Christmas time we have our own turkeys. Alongside that, we buy locally from people who produce good quality goat and any of the other bits and pieces that we need to join up with our, our own production. If we're going to kill an animal, we want everybody to enjoy every part of that animal. And Jason will just explain a few of the more unusual cuts that are available here that you wouldn't get in, say, a supermarket. So basically, because we get the whole carcass, we get every single joint that you can think of. So we have, like, the uh, hand of pork, which you will not see in the supermarket. We'll have like the uh, uh, bread and butter cut, which is from the beef, which is a slow cooking, really nice cut. And because I'm one of three trained butchers here, me and Sam, we've got over 50 years experience between us and we can basically do anything you wish. Come to us and we can send it the whole country. Next day delivery as well. So it's, you know, we can do anything you wish, basically. We make all our own sausages, our own burgers, our own faggots. We do everything here, so. And we have all the wild and wonderfuls, like every single bit of offal you can think of. From beef liver, to kidneys, to chicken feet, to sweet pig's breasts, ears. pig's ears. <laughs> yeah, we have the whole lot, so we can do anything you wish, basically. Just jump online and order from us, basically. Yeah, and you know, if you really don't, can't be bothered to do any cooking, then Claire, she's fantastic. If you swing around quick, Claire, <laughs> she is wonderful. She does the most amazing cooking. So we have things like our meat pies, our raised pork pies, our cooked beef and ham and tongue and all of it. A tremendous amount. And her fantastic scotch eggs. So this is Kitchen at Kimber's, which is another part of the business within the Kimber family. Our two eldest daughters and their partners, and in particular Dan, our son-in-law, runs the kitchen and using our own produce and high quality local produce. It's a lovely space. We have the old and the young. It's a place where everybody seems to feel really comfortable and the menu keeps moving round, but there's always something for everybody on it. We're really lucky that we've got some good staff and just a, a fabulous view outside. And in the summer, there is a cover so you can sit out there and enjoy your food and beautiful countryside of Somerset. This place was created, oh, I don't know, Dan, when was it? November 2018 was when we first opened, but the planning was probably for a year beforehand, just to get it right, to make use of the old, um, the last of the old farm buildings here, and then an extension. You used to milk cows. You used to milk cows in here. Yeah. We didn't milk cows, yeah. but cows were milked in the yeah. original shed and then we converted it to encompass the farm shop as well. The last Friday of each month we do a pop-up event and at the minute we are doing every other month a steak night and Mark, our chef, is doing different themed events the other months that, in between the steak nights. Up and coming is, we've got a steak night this the end of this month, which is fully booked, but we're doing at the end of April, a Lebanese themed night, which is gonna be lamb from the farm shop, lots of exciting salads and that sort of thing as well. 
you know, it's, it's a very exciting thing. And to have our family all working together, it's just amazing. We have lovely stuff hanging down. That was a nephew who produced this. And it's hanging off of uh, old railway lines, which came from Winghampton Railway. When that was, you know, Mr. Beeching closed that, but the previous owners, they bought some of the scrap iron and made this building. And then to complete the picture, we have our trading barn. Somerset Trading Barn, which is my eldest daughter, Naomi, and Darren's business. So as you can see, really nice stuff. Um, this is always draws me in because it's proper antiques. And I like the workmanship of stuff like this. Wow. Um, she was amazing, wasn't she? I have never, I've never filmed something and smiled so much ever. That was probably one of my most memorable um, sessions and so unexpected. I literally just driving along, saw it and wanted to pop in. So a massive, massive thank you to all of the family and the staff at Kimber's for that. Please remember, please hit that subscribe button, give the video one of those and uh, I'll see you for the next video. Make sure you pop in and check out their website.